Hi, my name is Ivo and I am doing research into Nikola Tesla's impulse electricity. To produce these high voltage impulses I use series switched MOSFETs. In my previous tests I ran into a problem with my SMD gate driver IC. It caused a shortcut. And my previous video I showed my new high voltage conversion PCB for this gate driver IC and I am going to test it today. I will be using a basic 2019 radian power circuit, which is a Tesla oscillator, without DC offset and without a L3 secondary coil. I will just use the L1 coil to produce impulses and the series resonant L2 coil to provide a low impedance path to ground for the impulses. This is the schematic for the circuit. I am using two MOSFETs in series and the MOSFETs are 1200 volt SIG MOSFETs. In theory I should be able to produce 2400 volt impulses, but I know they can go a lot higher. Let's proceed to the test. I haven't tested it, I just made the basic setup. Let me show you what I've got. This is the series tuning capacitor for the L2 coil which is here on top. I've got three. 41 nanofarads in series with the L2 coil. The L1 coil is on the bottom here. I've got them distanced, two and a half centimeters I think, just to make it able for the L2 to freely resonate. Yeah, here's the gate driver IC uh, circuit. I've got two MOSFETs in series. And this is an old prototype that I used before. And I'm using it now because I'm working with the 2019 Radian power circuit. I am tuned to 33.3 kilocycles per second. And I have uh, right now 9.5 times 2 volts on my power supply. I have the channels in series uh, so I can generate much higher voltages. Let me turn on the scope. Uh, here's the scope. In green you will be able to see the uh, signal that switches the series MOSFETs simultaneously. And in yellow I have the high voltage probe between the tuning capacitor and the coil that is set to 500 volts per division. I'll turn the system on right now and there you can see the signal. This is not a signal that I would prefer to use normally but I just tuned this in because it gave the maximum impulse voltage and that is what I'm going to test today so I'll just make a photo of the power supply. It is 0.16 amps and 2 times 9.5 volts giving 19 volts at 0.16 amps. Let's calculate how much power that is. 3 watts input power right now. As you can see the green shows when the MOSFETs are turned off then it's high and when the MOSFET is turned off then the impulse is cre uh, created by the L1 coil. I'm going to put more power into the L1 coil so it produces more impulse voltage. But first I will show you the duration of the impulse. Let's see how that impulse duration is. Right now it's around, I've got now 200 nanoseconds per division. One, two, three and a half. So it's around 700 nanosecond impulses. So let's dial it back. Now we have a proper view and I'm going to dial up the voltage and see what happens. I'm going up. I've got now 10.5 times 2 volts. This is already 1500 volts impulses. Going up. And I have 2000 volt impulses right now. And everything is stable. It works. I want to go up to 3000 volts and I'm really curious if this will stay working. Uh, let me take a picture of the power supply first. It's uh, 0.21 amps at 2 times 13.1 volts. 
I'm going up in voltage and higher slowly tuning it higher and I am now at 2500 volts five divisions of 500 volt and it's still stable it is working and the impulse still is looking good it's not clipped because the MOSFET will indicate when it is going into avalanche mode then the bottom part will start to distort because uh, it will be clipped by the body diode of the di uh, of the MOSFETs let's tune it in a little bit so we can see what is happening to that impulse when I go deeper I'm now at 16.1 volts times 2 and this is taking 0.25 amps let's go up a little bit more see if I can get to 3000 volts and there it is I'm now at 2 times 19 volts 0 0.3 amps input power and it's stable it is working I'm very happy with this result because this is what I wanted to get now I could push further I could probably get down to 3500 volts actually I should do that yeah let's do that uh, maybe one of the gate drivers will burn out uh, but then I'll know what the capability is of this system I'll push it a little bit higher fingers crossed and fingers on the dial because if it goes down I want to turn it off immediately so the MOSFET doesn't burn out okay here we go it's still working oh yeah 35 hundred volt impulses and still stable wow <laughs> that's nice that's really nice I'm now at 0 0.4 amps and 2 times 23 volts and it's all running stable it is looking good I'll move the signal a little bit up so I can go even higher let's uh, put it in a proper position uh, yes this is an offset of 1.5 kilovolts so now I am at now I am at negative 3.5 kilovolts and the impulse still looks good the bottom part is not distorted by the avalanche mode of the body diodes of the MOSFETs so yeah I'm just going to tune it even higher the MOSFETs are 1200 volts so in theory I should get 2400 volt impulses but this indicates I'm already at a much higher voltage rating for the MOSFETs let's see if I can go higher yeah should I do that should I really yeah I want to go to 4 kV see if they can work see if it doesn't distort and if the gate driver stays intact yeah now it starts distorting did you see the the wave is starting to distort so the MOSFETs are at their absolute maximum rating so I can easily go to 3500 volts and then yeah it starts to distort okay so I have 3500 volt impulses oh man <laughs> I'm really happy with this result okay so far so good I'll turn this uh, test off again I'm now at 0 0.39 amps at 2 times 22.9 volts I'm putting in 17.9 watts of power to get these high voltage impulses of three and a half kilovolts at the frequency of 33.5 kilocycles per second oh yeah I like this I like this a lot it works and I'm very happy with this result because now I can proceed 
with creating a high voltage DC offset on the L2 coil and implode the DC field with negative impulses. This is all part of my open source research, so no patents can be applied. All can benefit from this. If you want to fund my research, you can give a donation on my PayPal account. You can find a link in the video description below. Please like this video and share it with others who might benefit from this information. Remember to subscribe and hit the notification bell for an update. Thanks for watching and see you next time.